Brancher AI Tutorial or How to Use Brancher AI Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Brancher AI. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and can go to Brancher.ai or you can simply click the link on the description below and upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page and from here, it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Brancher AI, it is a platform that enables users to create a powerful AI-powered apps without coding knowledge in a matter of minutes, in which it offers 100 free credits for users to get started and provides them with the tools and features that they needed to build the unique, sophisticated applications. And from here, if you have other concerns or questions, you could also proceed under the FAQ of Frequently Asked Question, in which by simply clicking on each question, it will show you the corresponding answer. Those questions including, is Brunker AI secure, or can I monetize my unique app creations, and any other questions. And now that we know the background info of this platform, the next thing that you need to do to access this platform is to simply click the Sign Up button on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page, in which from here, just enter your email address, or you can continue using your Google account. And in those options, I'm going to continue using my Google account. So gonna click on it, and you will be directed on this page, in which this is what the dashboard looks like of Bunker AI. And from here, you will see on the left side panel, some of the options that you could also utilize or navigate. While under these apps, you can see here the overview of the number of views application within 90 days. And aside from that, from here, you could also create your new app. And aside from that, you could also navigate on the left side panel, the subscription option, in which by clicking on it, you will be able to see some of the plan that this platform offers, including the free plan, the basic, and even the pro plan. And below, you can choose to pay monthly or yearly. And below here, you will see the corresponding prices and the list of benefits it included on each plan, such as on free plan that include unlimited AI apps, app teams, and many more. Well, if you scroll down below here, it will also show you the recharge your credit balance, your credit overview, and from here, you could also purchase a number of credits with its corresponding prices below. And aside from those plans, below here, if you scroll down, you will see here the frequently asked question and by simply clicking on each question, it will show you the corresponding answers. And now, you could also navigate on the left side panel, the templates library, and by simply clicking on it, it will show you right here, on the right side panel, the list of template that you can use in creating your own app. And to select a template, all you need to do is to simply clicking on it, and after that, you will be directed on the next page, in which from here, you can try this template by filling out all of the required information, such as this artist or band, from here just enter the artist name, while below that is the genre of those artists, for instance, indie pop, heavy metal, and experimental rap. And after that, below here, you're also required to enter any specific word, associations, or connotations to those band, since this application uses AI to come up with your band or artist name. And now for the last step is to click the submit button below. And all you need to do is to wait for it to load to show you the results of this application, which is based on the preferences and other information that you just enter. And after that, if you like this application and you want to use this as your template in creating an app, you can proceed by clicking use as template button on the top panel. Now going back on this page, under the apps option on the left side panel, you will see here the drops of the template that you selected. However, if you want to create a template from a scratch, you can proceed by clicking the Create New App button on the top right corner. And by simply clicking on it, you will be directed on this page, while under the App Basics, from here, you can customize the background of your application. By simply clicking on this, you will be able to select or choose the specific color by pointing the mouse on the color that you prefer. And aside from background color, you could also customize the color of the text and also the color of the button. And now below, you're also required to enter the app title 
So let's say I'm going to call this as a story maker. And after that below, you could enter the description about this application. So for instance, I'm going to enter here an AI tools that helps you generate your own story based on your preferences. And aside from that, by clicking this form section, from here you can customize the text or the field label and also the placeholder text in which these are the parts where users are required to fill out or to enter in order to properly use this application. So for instance, I'm going to enter here topic which are also needed in creating a story. And below, I'm going to enter here the word kindly enter the topic of your story. And now, if you also want to add a text, kindly click this plus button below here in which by clicking on it, you have the option to choose either text, drop down, or multiple choice. So kindly proceed by clicking the text. And after that, just do the same process, which is to fill out or enter the field label and the placeholder text. And for instance, I'm going to enter here on field label a theme, which is also needed in creating a short story. Now for the placeholder text, I'm going to enter here the word enter the theme of your story. And if you also want to add a text, kindly do the same process by simply clicking the plus button and start customizing the field label and also the placeholder text. And now after filling out the form section, we can now proceed by filling out the next step which is the flow and logic section. By simply clicking this plus button right here, you can select an AI model but I'm going to choose the chat GPT as language learning models. And after that, below here, the next thing that you need to do is to create a command to chat GPT in which those commands will serve as the algorithm of how your application will work. So let's say I'm going to enter here a command, generate a short story and kindly add a tag topic by simply clicking this plus button. And after that, you can continue your command by adding additional details or context. So these are my final flow and logic, which is generate a short story about this topic that contain the theme as its theme and tone as its tone. Or alternatively, you could also fix or change some of the details of your command in order for the chat GPT to understand of what kind of help that you want by scanning your command if it is accurate or grammatically correct. So let's say on the right side panel, I'm going to select here or fill out all of the required information. And after filling out all of the required information, to test this, kindly proceed by clicking the submit button. However, if there's an error or the app flow is missing, you could also revise the command to your flow and logic, or you can add additional kind of command by clicking the plus button below. And if you're now done customizing, you can now proceed by clicking the publish and share option below. And below here, you will see the app insights, including the required credits, the estimated runtime, and estimated flow efficiency. And now to proceed, just click this publish button below. And upon clicking on it, you could also view your application in which you will be directed on the next tab. And from here, you can test your application by filling out all of the required information. So that is just how you can use Brancher AI. Thank you.